Arkansas heads to BYU, and BYU is a one-point underdog, total of 66.5, latest number, of course, over at BetUS, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN. This should be a fun, fun matchup. Let's go on and pull up the screen here. The trends on it, Arkansas 0-4 against the spread in their last four overall. Uh, they are 5-2 and two against the spread in the last seven uh, against non-conference teams, however. KJ Jefferson looks like he is going to play, so everything looks good there. Jaron Hall banged up, but he is expected to play as well on Saturday. So you got both teams just like you would expect them to be. Uh, this line did move through zero. Arkansas was a three-point underdog when it appeared that KJ Jefferson would not play. As soon as he was announced, it moved back over to Arkansas as a one-point favorite. So it has moved uh, four points in some places, four and a half points, but over about U.S. just four. BYU one and seven against the spread. Their last eight against the SEC. They are zero and four against the spread in their last four overall. When you look at the numbers here, my numbers love BYU. Really, really like BYU, especially at home in this spot. Uh, I've got them favored by nearly a touchdown. And yes, I understand that they're a little bit banged up. I understand that the defense is not great, but PPA per pass number twenty-seven. Uh, they have found ways to be, uh, even without their best playmakers, they have found ways to be successful in the passing game. They're really good at havoc rate allowed. They don't allow a lot of havoc. So the offensive line, pretty good at pass blocking, even if they're not great at run blocking. Uh, Big thing here, standard downs PPA. BYU is number 22 in the country. Arkansas's defense is number 77. Uh, If you are able to stay ahead of the chains then I like BYU's chances here, and it certainly looks like it it favors that. Uh, Also, BYU field position advantage, big time as far as the offense goes. On defense, BYU not great at field position. I mean, obviously, number 130 in the country. Uh, But it's not like Arkansas is real good on offense. They're number 124 in average field position on offense, so they're not winning that battle either. Uh, The thing that does scare me about this, uh, Arkansas's rush rate is 63%, right? So Kendall Bryles really, really running the ball a lot. It's number five in the country. When you look at their rushing success rate, it's number 22 in the country. Now, here's the vast difference. They're number 22 in success rate, but number 96 in PPA per rush. So they're not really generating a ton of points off of it. If they can generate points, they can certainly take advantage of this BYU defense, which is number 99 in PPA per rush. So while it looks like you've got something that would favor Arkansas here. It may not actually favor them very much at all. Uh, Arkansas's offense is not great as far as passing the football, but they are number 19 in PPA per pass, even if they're number 74 in passing success rate. That typically means that you've got a fairly explosive offense that you're able to generate points even though you're not doing a whole lot throwing the football anyway. Uh, passing explosiveness, Arkansas is number 60, and uh, BYU is number 96 in that regard. So uh, when I look at these numbers... Um, Puka Nakua being back, Gunnar Romney, uh, you, you got you got options there. And I really like what BYU has as far as skill position, guys. I think they're going to be able to take advantage of Arkansas's defense. Arkansas is trending in the wrong direction. Even with K.J. Jefferson back, I don't think this defense is going to be able to stop BYU. And BYU at home is a different beast. I will take BYU as the home dog. So there we go. We finally got us. We finally got us a home underdog here. Uh, but I'm going to take BYU to cover the one. My numbers really like them. I understand it. I get it. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.